Hello, and welcome to this short presentation on academic grammar, which is focusing on the most common tenses in academic English. Today, I'll provide a language review and some practice exercises. Before we begin, there is a worksheet for this video, so perhaps pause the video and download that now. The link is in the description below. OK, let's start with some important information. Now, did you know that 80 to 85% of academic and technical English is in the present tense? According to Corpus Research in Academic Writing, the four tenses used the most often are the present simple, the past simple, the present perfect simple, and future simple with will. So that's what we are going to focus on today in this video, these four tenses. We'll begin with a language review of these tenses, looking at the use and the tense examples. So let's start with present simple. I'll present the main uses, and if you want to read the examples, then please pause the slide at any time. The present simple has four key uses. These are to make statements that are generally true at the time of writing, to make interpretations about findings of current or previous research, to show the aim of an essay or report, etc., to refer to charts, figures, tables, or graphs. Okay, now we'll look at the past simple. There are three main uses here. The first is to describe previous findings in your or another's research that have now been replaced. To report findings of a previous study at a specific point in the past in order to support a general statement or a finding in your or another's research. To describe the data gathered the methods used or the results of a completed study. OK, now we'll look at the present perfect simple tense. This tense has great significance in academic writing due to the following six main uses. It is used to connect information from some time in the past with the present, to summarise previous research, to show emphasis of what has been done instead of what is known to be true. To introduce a new topic. To show gaps or limitations in current research. And finally, to draw conclusions. OK, our final tense is future simple with will. This has importance for two main reasons. The first is to predict with certainty future findings or results, and also to state the purpose for writing, especially in an introduction. Now, of course, don't forget that all four tenses can be used in the active or passive form, so please pause this slide to see how the tense structure changes in both of these forms. OK, this now takes us to the practice exercises. These next exercises are also on the worksheet provided in the description below. So we'll start with sentence level exercises, and this is exercise one, present simple versus past simple. Identify the mistakes in the following sentences. Not all are incorrect. I suggest you pause the slide and do the exercise. OK, here are the answers. Now, exercise two. This is present simple versus present perfect simple. Highlight the correct form of the verb, pause the slide, and do the exercise. OK, here are the answers. Next, exercise 3. 
past simple versus present perfect simple. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. Again, pause the slide and do the exercise. OK, here are the answers. Now, exercise 4. Present simple versus future simple with will. Highlight the correct option. If both are correct, highlight them both. Again, pause the slide and do the exercise. OK, here are the answers. Right, now exercise 5. This is a short tense review. So, complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. Use only active or passive structures of past simple, present simple, present perfect simple and future simple with will. Pause the slide and do the exercise. OK, here are the answers. OK, now on to the final exercise, exercise 6. This is a paragraph level exercise. So complete the gaps in the paragraph with the correct form of the verb in brackets. The text is on exams versus coursework. Please pause the slide for one last time and do the exercise. OK, here are the answers. Right, I hope you have enjoyed this video presentation today and if you would like more practice and more exercises then please go here on our website for our lesson download at Academic English UK slash Academic Grammar. If you would like more information on all areas of academic writing, then please go here to Academic English UK slash Writing. Thank you for listening today. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>